What the hell is this? Vaporeon is way overpowered in Pokemon Go? Uh, uh, mm -mm. no, it's not overpowered, okay? It is not the same as Dragonite. Now, that bastard is overpowered. So, I really don't even know what this article is talking about. But you know what? For the sake of impartiality, I will go ahead and review this article in a live reaction. Because I have yet to read this article. So, let's go ahead and scroll down here. See? Vaporeon. Vaporeon is nice and awesome. I, it's my favorite evolution out of the three in Generation 1. Alright, let's go ahead and read this shit. Anyone who spent time fighting in Pokemon Go's gyms has encountered Vaporeon. The water-based evolution has emerged as one of the strongest Pokemon available in the early phase of the game, which has led to a glut of little water foxes all around the world, along with the slightly less powerful but more formidable cousins Jolteon and Flareon. Okay. Well, I mean, uh, Vaporeon has a really high HP level, and its CP is of the highest increase when you evolve it from Eevee. So, I mean, you know, like, it's it's kind of understandable, because, I mean, more CP dictates more power, does it not? Like, I, I, don't, I don't understand it. I don't understand. But let's go ahead and scroll down a little bit more. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. The problem with Vaporeon stems from a few different factors. Chief among them is the ubiquity... Eevees aren't nearly as hard to come by as Dratini or Snorlax, as it only takes 25 candies to net yourself an evolution. So that means that there are a lot of Vaporeon around, and the ones that are around are as dominant as any of those rarer Pokemon. Water Gun is one of the best basic attacks out there. It tends to live at a high CP, and the elemental effectiveness works in such a way that it can even hold its own against electric Pokemon, which it's supposed to be weak against. A full team stacked of Vaporeon is nearly invincible and not that hard to assemble. Newsflash! Are you forgetting about type advantages? Okay, like, I, I get it, I get it, okay? Vaporeon has high stamina because of its high base HP. I get that its, its CP has the biggest increase out of the three evolutions, but it's not damn invincible! I mean, hello, electric types, gone. Grass types, gone. I mean, seriously. I mean, Venusaur, for example. Venusaur. Venusaur. One of the badass and best Pokemon that there is. I mean, holy shit. The thing can just... It's, it's a tank. It can go all day, baby. But Vaporeon... I'm not gonna I'm not gonna discredit it. Vaporeon is a damn good Pokemon. I mean, hell, that's one of the reasons why it's on my team, baby. It's one of the reasons why it's on my team. So let's go ahead and continue on here. This is the balance game we're playing, and it's the sort of thing that happens to any game. I'd expect a nerf on all evolutions as soon as Niantic stabilizes things on the technical side of things. Right now, I think decreasing the speed on Water Gun would go a long way, but it would probably need a little less damage as well. Um, okay? I don't quite understand where you're going with this, baby. I really don't. Overall, I think Niantic needs to constrict the range of Pokemon power. As it stands, the top-level creatures outclass the rest of the crew so thoroughly that you need to start to see the same names showing up at the gym over and over again, and that is just less fun. Now, I will agree with that right there, because there are people that have a big, a big and juicy head start at, ahead of some of us that have just recently started getting into this game. Hell, let me give you a little backstory, okay, baby? Let me, let me take you back, okay? A couple nights ago, I was down chilling at the Halifax Harbor with my boy Jonathan, and we ran into these guys cool as hell. I will tell you that. He pulled up his, his list, okay? His, his list of Pokemon. And within the first page, eight out of nine of his Pokemon were fucking Dragonites. And I'm just thinking, okay, dude, that is overpowered. That is over-fucking-powered. I mean, I get the Dragonite is a pseudo-legendary and shit, but that is just absolutely insane. That's absolutely insane. That is overpowered. Not having one teeny-tiny little mermaid fox known as Vaporeon is not overpowered. But let's go ahead and keep going with this. Again, maybe I'm just overreacting, maybe I'm just overthinking things. Maybe for all we know, this article is false and nothing actually happened. <sighs> okay, let's go. Combat needs a lot of work overall, but we should at least have the ability to work with our little Raticates long enough that they can stand even against the mighty Dragonite. 
Um, no, 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 because then now, okay, now you are stripping the title of pseudo-legendary away from Dragonite, essentially, by making it so that little Raticates, which are meant to not really be that powerful, uh, they're good Pokemon, don't get me wrong, but they're not supposed to be powerful enough to be able to stand up against Dragonites unless they have a high CP, okay? But anyways, let's go. Uh... Yeah, such David and Goliath fights are a key part of the Pokemon mythos, okay? Many games struggle with vanilla builds at the top level, and it is a constant balancing act to continue to encourage and game players to vary their strategies. Niantic has a lot to do right now, so let's hope for a balance update sometime soon. Okay, so not really much has been said about this article here. Uh, Vaporeon is way too powered in Pokemon Go, but you guys... I came across this just a little while ago, and I didn't I didn't read it, but I was told that this is a, a list of attacks that have buffs and nerfs. So, with that being said, let's go ahead. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I went ahead and I scrolled down to where we can actually see the attack changes. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, look at this. Okay, so we have the top tier attacks, such as Solar Beam, Blizzard, Hyper Beam, Fire Blast, Earthquake, all that good stuff, and they have a massive boost, okay? You want to talk about nerfing shit? This is going to throw things off balance for those Pokemon that have access to those attacks. Like, that, that this, this is not making balance. This is not making balance. This is, in fact, going to completely throw everything out of orbit so badly that it's going to take our planet Earth and chuck it out of the solar system, okay? Oh my god, this this is insane already. Okay, we got Stone Edge, Hydro Pump, Mega Horn. Okay, so, like, we got all of these attacks that are suddenly getting buffed to hell. Like, these are crazy. And let's see what else we got going on here. I mean, holy shit, like, we got Drag... Like, wow. This is, this is insane right now. Like, okay, Dragon Pulse, like, what... Where does it say Water Gun? Where does it say Water Gun that Water Gun needs to be nerfed? I mean, I get that's a really uh, good quick attack and all that stuff, but I mean, goddamn, like it's it's not it's not like super super powerful or anything like that. Like, holy shit! Like, let's 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 scroll down here and oh no, Water Gun, ten six, no, oh my god, no! So they they actually did nerf, and I wasn't going crazy. I wasn't going crazy there night when I thought that my Vaporeon suddenly lost power because we lost a gym battle. Oh god, no. No! 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 You mean to tell me that that the Vaporeon that is above two that tw ah, 1200 CP is is has been nerfed to shit? Oh Jesus Christ! Uh, uh, now now I know why! Now I know why, because these Niantic guys they want to go and nerf my baby. Again, as I have stated before, Vaporeon, yes, is freaking good, but it is not the king of the mountaintop, okay? You want to talk about nerfing Pokemon? Why don't you nerf something like Dragonite or something like that? I mean, that is a pseudo-legendary Pokemon. What the hell are you doing? Like, this, this is insane. This is absolutely insane. This is... This, 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 this goes beyond anything. This goes beyond anything! <sighs> Fuck. Now, I'm, I'm pissed. I am fucking pissed right now. And it's a good thing I'm going out tonight for more Pokemon Go hunting and a little bit of drinkity drank along the way every now and then. Because I'm going to be grinding it out to find myself a new Vaporeon so that way I can have access to Hydro Pump because... They went and they nerfed Aqua Tail! Look at this shit! It was at a really good base 50 power, base 45 now, and its CP was at 20, or not CP, the DPS was 21.3, now it's 19.2! Not that that makes that much of a difference, but Hydro Pump, if we go back up to the top, if we go back up to the top, like, holy shit, Hydro Pump is going to be so damn overpowered, and I mean, the thing of it is, it's going to take a lot of Vaporeon and pretty much take him, put him in the storage because Aqua Tail is simply not good enough anymore. Now everyone's going to be farming for Hydro Pumps, and that's something I don't want to do. I want to stick with my Vaporeon. And as a matter of fact, that is exactly what I'm going to do. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit about these nerfs because guess what? We're going to rise above it. I don't give a shit about these stupid-ass, bullshit-ass, lame-ass changes.